Module 1 Overview of Basic DICOM What is DICOM? DICOM is not a file format, but a set of standards that describe a file format. These standards were developed by the American College of Radiology and NEMA, the National Electronic Manufacturers Association. Standards are merely a process that is accepted by two or more entities. DICOM is a worldwide standard that has been accepted for transferring electronic images from one modality to another modality. It is one of the primary standards in medical imaging informatics. Basically, it allows our equipment to talk. DICOM and HL7 are the two basic file formats that allow us to use medical imaging informatics and send images and text across the network. Let's look at what DICOM standard does not specify. It does not specify the implementation of details of any features of the standard on a device claiming conformance. It only indicates that the different modalities will act interoperably. It also does not specify the overall set of features and functions to be expected from a system implemented by integrating a group of devices, each claiming DICOM conformance. It is not a test or a validation procedure to assess an implementation's conformance to the standard. The only thing that it does is state that the equipment is capable of interfacing with other equipment that have a DICOM base also. Be aware that DICOM is simply a file format. Medical imaging standards and informatics is a very vast study. We are only going to look at the parts that you should know as an operator of medical imaging equipment and a preliminary to becoming a PAX administrator. Medical imaging informatics is a combination of both computer science and medical imaging technology. The details of the interoperability of medical imaging equipment and the transfer of images and data through DICOM is only a small portion of the knowledge base required. This presentation provides what every radiographer should know. The DICOM standard does not define the system's architecture, nor does it specify or set all the requirements required in a picture archival communication system. Let's explore the informatics basis for PACS, RISC, and workstation operation. To begin with, the information system is unique to the hospital or clinic or physician's office that is utilizing the system. The main focus of this format is to have DICOM information come into the system and DICOM information come out of the system. Whatever happens within each modality is vendor specific. The output of imaging modalities is file format specific to DICOM and sent to the RIS or PAC server. Upon completion of the exam, the data is pushed to the PAC server. The PAC server interfaces with the hospital information system, the radiology information system, and the nuclear medicine information system. The PAC server allows the data to be queried, retrieved, and anonymized. The information can then be seen at a review station, workstation, physician's council, or radiologist workstation. When the specific examination has been manipulated or reviewed, it is then saved back to the PAX archive. The PAX archive is where the completed exams are saved 
each in its own format. They can then be requested by physicians or others wishing to view them from the hospital information system. Those looking to get the information request the information through the hospital information system, which then accesses the information from the PACS archive and then brings the information to the requester. The information is transmitted using Hypertext Transfer Protocol. HTTP has a number of different methods for utilizing the information and transferring it. Let's take a look at this process starting with the DICOM client requesting information from the DICOM server. The DICOM server must get the information from the PAX image archive or storage. The information must be in the DICOM format to be manipulated. The information is pulled from the PAX image archive and pushed to the DICOM server for use. The DICOM server can be queried from different stations simultaneously to utilize these output files. The data is then converted using a computer graphics interface into an image to be viewed. The data or information is stored in tables, and tables are a simple concept. The table design provides the application structure for the data, or how it is to be used. Computer indexes allow rapid access to the tables. The relationship between the different tables provides a very rich environment for the application to provide data. DICOM is an international standard describing how radiology images are identified and formatted and how imaging devices communicate with each other. The DICOM format was jointly developed by the American College of Radiology and the National Electronic Manufacturers Association. The National Electronic Manufacturers Association, or NEMA, provides the standards to vendors or manufacturers in equipment design. This format is based on the Open Standards Intercommunications model that is used for all computers. The ISO is not a physical thing. It is a model of the relationships to different parts of computer transmission of data. The Hospital Information System is a distributed database that interfaces with all of the healthcare professionals within the hospital for transfer of information, patient information, and managerial information. It's probably easy to think of it as an interface engine where it has access to all of the different portions of the hospital system and interconnectivity. When you visit a doctor's office, a hospital, or even an immediate care center, you are given a medical record index specifically or medical record number specifically for that facility. Every time that you enter a facility, they use your medical record number to access your data or information. These records are written or documented in HL7 or Hospital Language 7. As we discussed earlier, Hospital Language 7 and DICOM are the two primary types of formats used in medical imaging informatics. These formats then use the data to create different types of applications and images. Here demonstrates how each portion of the data is tagged with a specific number and how we combine these to create images. Each of these images is combined with text. The text moves via hypertext 
transport protocols. Now let's take a look at a table that is used for admission, discharge, and transfer. To admit, discharge, or transfer a patient, we need to know who that patient is by looking up their medical record number. This is just an example of how we use data such as DICOM and HL7 for patient care. The standards you should be familiar with as a radiographer are the ISO standard, the TCP IP or Transport Control Protocol and Internet Protocol, the DICOM protocol, HL7 or Hospital Language 7, and IHE, Integrating the Healthcare Enterprise. These are the interface standard formats used for medical imaging informatics. The OSI or ISO stack model is not a physical entity. The OSI or ISO stack model gives us an organized view of how all computer systems and networks integrate. The image portion or DICOM portion of the information is managed by the Medical Imaging Technology Alliance, a division of NEMA. NEMA is a National Electronic Medical Alliance, which actually has the standards for the design and build of medical imaging equipment. DICOM is managed by the MEDA, which is also an alliance of vendors. Therefore, we have the vendors and the American College of Radiology deciding on the standards. DICOM actually addresses five general applications. Network Imaging Management, Network Image Interpretation Management, Network Print Management, Image Procedure Management, and Offline Storage Media Management. DICOM creation is a collaboration between META and the American College of Radiology, and they are continually upgrading DICOM standards. So therefore, you need to be aware of the current DICOM standards, which will affect the equipment that you utilize. So anytime that you have a question about DICOM or need to find out about how DICOM is applied, you can look it up on the web at the DICOM website. Currently, there are over 21 different profiles and over 6,000 pages of information on that website. DICOM supports five primary functions at the applications level. They are the transmission and persistence of complete objects, images and documents, through query and retrieval of projects. The performance of specific actions such as prefetching of images and information. Workflow management. This supports work list and status information in the system. And the last of the primary functions is monitor image quality and photographic print display. There is one more standard that is used in medical imaging. It's called Interfile, and it's for nuclear medicine studies. Interfile is not compatible with DICOM and HL7. There is additional software available to convert the Interfile into a DICOM type database to be utilized by your PACS archiver. This is vendor specific.